Hello once again gamers, Cruznik X back with more Final Fantasy XIV and the Ceremony of Eternal Bonding. Alongside me, Alex Swan. Hey yo. And Enigma Zero, my partner in crime. Hello. <laughs> this little uh, hey -o is so cute. <laughs> when we last left off, we had just finished making the uh ring the promise wristlets. Or the Divine Bands. And, uh... We are now going to pray before the... Tw for each of the Marks of the Twelve. Our first stop is, of course, the Mark of the Matron in Old Gridania. So, let's hit the Mark of the Matron, and, uh... To entreat the Twelve for their blessings, you and your partner must equip yourselves with promise resets. Oh, we actually had to do that. Where is it, though? I have mine equipped. I, you. It's where, so unprepared. Wait, but wait, where is mine? What the fuck? They look like the Emperor's new bracelet thing. Uh, they don't have a... It must have... I must not have equipped it beforehand. Okay, let's do this. To entreat the Twelve for their blessings, select the mark and use Pray Emote. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't have to be that way. As you pray before the mark of the matron, a sense of calm washes over you. Next up, the mark of the builder in the south shroud, which is okay. It's near I camp. I noticed that up there. I knew it was up there. All right, our next stop is Camp Tranquil. Alright, the Mark of the Builder is over here. So we'll jump this fence. Here it is. And of course, slash prey. As you pray before the Mark of the Builder, a sense of calm washes over you. Next up, Mark of the Keeper, which is all the way on the other side of the frickin'... Oh wait, no it's not. Okay, let's ride. I thought it was all the way on the other side of the map, but... <laughs> These things can't fuck with us. <laughs> Here it is, the Mark of the Keeper. As you pray before the Mark of the Keeper, a sense of calm washes over you. Alright, our next stop is the Mark of the Navigator, and I know exactly where that one is.
It's so silent. Where are we going? We're headed to the aft castle. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Dude. All right, this way. Man, they really decked this place out. I know, I'm tripping over everything. <laughs> Why would they put a cherry tree in the middle of a cave? <laughs> what the fuck? Because it looks beautiful. It's bullshit, that's what it is. No, it's not, it's beautiful. It's romantic. <laughs> What's the cave gotta be romantic about? I don't know, gotta be romantic somehow. Yeah, yeah. As you pray Mission before the mark- <laughs> As you pray before the mark of the navigator, the divine band seems to catch the light. So y'all gotta go to all the places with the twelve? Yep. With your partner, the mark of the spinner in Lower Lenosha. Off to the Morby Dry Docks. And after I hit up lower, I think I gotta go up to the, uh, to what, upper? Outer, actually. To get one. For what, the, uh, the Wanderer? Wouldn't it be upper? Nope, it's actually outer. That's, that's stupid. And what I have is Hallis in the upper. What? The Wanderer's Palace, the entrance, well, the entrance to it is in upper, so I thought it was going to be in upper. Nope. Oh, that's beyond dumb. This is a weird place to have a rock. Uh oh, whoops. As you pray before the, the mark of the spinner, the divine band seems to catch it, the light. Next stop, Outer Lenosha. Ah, oh, God, son of a bitch. Landmines. It's always gotta be landmines. What are you doing? I'm in the palace because I got tired of fishing. Oh. And so I decided to run the palace. Back to my addiction. Don't tell Skeeth. Shh. Uh. I blame you for this palace thing, you know. Why? This is your fault. You were the one who brought me to the palace in the first place. Eh. And then I went. Then, then it was. It was like what? A couple of months before CC came, when I got out of my palace phase. <laughs> I want. I was hitting the palace hardcore, nonstop, twenty-four-seven. Anyway. Like crack. <laughs> <laughs> But now you see my new addiction, right, CC? Which is treasure hunts. And who got me into that? Steve did, so this is his fault. Anyways, <laughs> as you pray before the mark of the wanderer, the divine band seems to catch the light. Alright, next stop. 
the Mark of the Dusk Trader in Ulda, and I know where this one is too. I will be so lost. Thank God I'm not getting married. <laughs> 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 I will be anywhere but where I'm supposed to be. I will be still be stuck on the first one. <laughs> well, thank I'm God. Following him around. <laughs> thank God that. <laughs> thank the twelve that they give you pleasant little reminders of where exactly they are. And this one is in the Thaumaturges Guild. No, I, I don't need the, I don't need a reminder. I need the exact location direction. <laughs> I need a GPS. <laughs> Did I tell you guys how much I hate the palace? <laughs> Landmines left and right. <laughs> hey, at least you don't get toted. Uh, Somebody just got toted. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every fucking time I get that toad. Anyways, as you pray before as you pray before the mark of the dusk trader, the divine band seems to grow warm. <laughs> Next stop, Southern Thanalan and the Mark of the Destroyer, which Aetherite are we taking? Little Alamigo. I should have guessed it would be in Little Alamigo. <laughs> oh, that was a bad peel. That's <laughs> <laughs> mm, so weird. Right. If I recall, it's on the top floor of this. Yep. Ooh. Somebody falling down the steps? Yeah, Aunt Bunny. Uh, who is that? <laughs> Anybody who has never listened to Eddie Murphy will never get that reference. Anyways, as you pray before the Mark of the Destroyer, the Divine Band seems to grow warm. <coughs> Next up, Eastern Thanalan. And the Mark of the Warden. There's my drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, now I remember where it is. Oops. Those are no fun. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be the only one that goes into the the aqua thingy. <laughs> What's it called? I need to start saying the actual name the, to it the instead Aquapolis. of the aqua thingy. The Aquapolis. Yeah, that. The Aquapolis. Quapa. Quapa wapa. Waka waka. <laughs> God, I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days I'll get video editing software and censor half these words that we say. Anyways. <laughs> That's no fun for your viewers.
Pomper a search. As you pray before the mark of the warden, the divine band seems to grow warm. Next up, the mark of the fury in Curtis Central Highlands. And the mark of the lover. This is a lot of work for a ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It just sounds so complicated. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> right. It wasn't me this time that stepped on a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder. All right, we'll head. Oh my god, no. It's way up there, seriously. I had a feeling it was going to be up there. Oh my god. Hey, you think that's bad? The other one's all the way on the other side of the fucking map! No, you don't get it. What else is in that location? I know. Oh my what? god. Harshafon's <laughs> fucking grave, I know. Spoilers. <laughs> well, we're doing this stream after I've gone through Heaven's Ward, so it's not like we're spoiling anything. <laughs> so this is an important piece. You guys are gonna go pray at the grave, right? Show respect. Oh god. <laughs> uh. I mean, I would if I wasn't in the palace, stepping on landmines left and right. Well, here's the mark of the lover. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, yeah, I was like, what if this is the mark of the lover? I hate myself. <sighs> Ooh. As you pray before the mark of the lover, you feel a shiver down your spine. That's hypothermia. I wonder why. Or it could be Harshafon's ghost telling you not to go through with it. Ooh, ghosty goose. I'm praying for no more landmines. Please, no more. What, what was the emote that I needed? Uh... Now I can't fight. Alright, now that we've done that, as in... As a little side, uh... Thing... Uh, back... That thing is a mission. Well, uh, we also paid our respects to Hoshifon, so. Now we have to go to the other side of the map. Yay. Just imagine oh if you didn't have a, if you didn't have a mount. What's that? Just imagine if you didn't have a mount to walk all the way to the other side. Oh. God. That would be terrible. This stream would be five hours long. <laughs> I just wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right, Geronimo, shit! Oh, God, if you kill us. <laughs> Yay! I don't I'm think there's ever been an instance ninja. where a couple died during this during their pilgrimage. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be hilarious. Do you think that's actually uh, is evidence on there somewhere? <laughs> that, now that I would be, have to look for that. That'd be creepy shit. <laughs> it would be hilarious. And that is some, that would be some one. real that would be some really trippy shit right there. And that'll be the end. Ooh, that's a pretty icicle. Oh, uh, we can't carry no more. That sucks. Nope.
I'm pretty sure this pugilist in our party is bad luck. <laughs> Cause every time someone's around them, they always set off a trap. <laughs> Oh, since he attacked it, I look at this chest. Ah, uh, can't even pick it up. No wonder why Helena is so furious. Her freaking her freaking Mark is in the middle of a freaking cave. <laughs> oh, here uh, it is. Oh, <laughs> you were standing on it. Whoops. As you pray before the mark of the fury, you feel a shiver down your spine. That's frostbite. <laughs> Finally, oh. the mark of the scholar in Mordona. The mark of the scholar. Thaliac, my patron deity. I forget who my name is. Oh my goodness. Just imagine if you didn't have any of these places oh. unlocked to teleport to. Mine is Minfina. The lover. <laughs> I want to say mine's was the wanderer. I think, if I remember correctly. Actually, you can check in your character bio. Yeah, if, um... If you all, I see is, um all I see is Paul Manders. That's all. Well, that's because right. you're in Palace of the Dead. <coughs> this one is like the hard. I got it. If you're at level fifty and you do this, this is like the hardest one to get to. Luckily, you got your marrying at level seventy. Well, that and the fact that if you don't know your way around the tangle, you will n you will spend like five minutes wondering where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is this? seriously? Where the fuck is this path? Oh, you uh, mean, like, I, I still don't know my way through that thing. <laughs> I was trying to get here for that one quest with the you know who, and I was like going around in circles, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so mad. Yuck, yuck, what the fuck? Like, oh. <laughs> okay, Goofy. <laughs> uh, I think, if I recall correctly, it's this away. Yeah. Did you guys make it through? Yep. Oh, uh, I was hoping you kind of got lost. <laughs> You're so mean. I mean... <laughs> yeah, I can't... I can't Why are you being so mean? <laughs> You're a uh, mean, hey. mean man! My astrology duty is here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the, the level. Wait, what level is it? Uh, the level forty-five quest is. She's actually standing like right over there. <laughs> you should. You should. You should do it right now. Anyways. Oh, you can't because you got because you got to be in a party. You gotta. That's yeah, up. it's a yeah. solo duty. <laughs> Well, now you know how to get here. As you pray before the mark of the scholar, you sense nothing unusual. <laughs> However, when you look on the divine band, you observe that it seems to sparkle with a newfound radiance. I don't think I'll still be able to figure out how to get here. I didn't drive, so I don't know the way. <laughs> 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 All right, I know, back I've been to there so, I've been there so many times, and I still don't know how to get through there. <laughs> I just guess it's half sad. the time. <laughs> uh. All right. <coughs> you almost left without me. <laughs> no, I just... No, I just moved my chocobo <laughs> a few inches. <laughs> Looked like a foot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, brain. <laughs> Tiptoe 
through the tulips <laughs> with <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, let's speak to Clarabelle. My lord. By your countenance, I gather you have completed your pilgrimage. If so, I must ask you to entrust your ring to me for safekeeping until the day of your ceremony. Oh, Blessed okay. be. How it shimmers in the light. Yes, there can be no doubt. The gods have gazed within your hearts, and they have blessed the bond between you and your partner. When you exchange rings, this sacred bond shall become eternal, and no calamity, no matter how great, shall ever break it. So it was long ago, when two souls traveled the land in search for answers. What must we do to survive? How are we to carry on? At each mark they prayed, and from each issued forth the words of the divine. Creation begets destruction, and naught exists which cannot be sundered. Thus spoke Raga, and the two moved on. Death ever follows life, and naught lives which shall not die. Thus spoke Althik, and the two moved on. These were not the answers they sought, and so they continued onwards. They clung to the hope that salvation was within their grasp even when the gods themselves proclaimed otherwise. At last, they arrived at the mark of the scholar, the final mark, and their final destination. As before, they knelt and prayed for a revelation, and as before, a voice rang out. Together, you have wrought that which you sought. Thus spoke Thaliak. As the two gazed into each other's eyes, they came to understand. During their search for an answer, the two had grown closer. Their trust had deepened, and their hearts had become as one. They had formed an eternal bond, and in so doing, had touched eternity itself. When they returned to their homeland, their brethren saw how they had changed. Their example served to unite the desperate factions, which began to rebuild, and in time, the people knew peace and prosperity once more. Perhaps you and your beloved will go on to inspire others in the same fashion. Who can say what the future holds? Ah, but you are doubtless eager to begin planning your ceremony of eternal bonding. Pray, proceed to the Ivy Chapel, where we'll right new. Mm, I cannot pronounce that name. Where Ray Mao? Mean, yeah, where Ray Mao will um, discuss the arrangements with you. Ray Mao. <laughs> that is what we're calling him now. I do not give a Ray shit. Mao. <laughs> Ray Mao. Ray Mao. Have to sprint to keep up with you. <laughs> oh look, there's a lot of people here. Someone must be having a wedding. Yep. Let's talk to the ceremony usher. Are you planning to host a ceremony of eternal bonding, good sir? Then you will need to speak with Ray Mew within. Ugh, Ray Mo. And here we are, the Ivory Chapel. This is actually CC's first time seeing this, if I remember right. Yes, actually. I've seen the part of the place where the actual ceremonies take place, but I've never seen this. Can we go swimming in here? No. Oh, okay. So what are the colors for your wedding? We haven't decided yet. yet. What? <laughs> but um, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, when we return, we will get to the planning of this god dang wedding.
Until then, that's it for this episode of Cruising Purgatory. A special thank you to Enigma Zero and Alex Z uh, Alex Zwan for joining us. Mm. Bless mm. Always. I like how just, uh. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on twitch.tv slash cruisenigx or live with PlayStation and you like this show, <laughs> Feel free to hit the like button below and be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams. If you're watching this on youtube.com slash cruisingxttv and you like this video, feel free to hit the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the previous episode of Ceremony of Eternal Bonding and click here to watch the next one. Until next time, X signing out. All right, I'm going to take a quick second to... Uh...